Hey guys, just a really quick video um, with the Holiday Scorched uh, event on right now. I am sick, so I apologize for the raspy voice. Um, and this video I threw it together pretty quickly just to get it out there to help as many people as possible with this event. So I'm just going to start out at my camp because one thing that you could do to get the gifts that you can open and hopefully get one of the new rare plans is put a collectron in your um, camp. So I have a red rocket one in this camp, not a Santatron. So I'm going to go in and reprogram it because you can do that. And I'm going to change it to collect. Um, oh, I guess I had it set on that. I'll just change it back and then show you guys um, that you can actually select Xmas gifts. So here we go, now I've got it set to collect the holiday gifts. It'll also collect pre-war snacks, which is good because the one of the weeklies right now is to eat a bunch of pre-war food. Uh, the other thing is you can throw Sam Nguyen ally in your camp and he sells the holiday wrap, which you can buy. It's under miscellaneous and you can, oh, I'm not sure why I stopped to the junk, there we go. The gift wrap, which you can go to a Tinker's workbench and craft holiday gifts. Um, I believe that as with the Mole Miner Pails, the mid-level offers your best value combination of like not costing too many caps and um, chance of the uh, plants. Um, so you can also go to the vendors at the White Spring. They all sell one of each of the wraps. Um, if you throw on a buff, like a Charisma buff and say Great Mentats, which gets you better pricing at vendors. I have to go through my really big long list of uh, aid buffs. It'll get you slightly better pricing for that. I am low on caps, so I guess I better get into a public server at some point and get some people shopping at my camp. So then you can head to the Tinker's workbench. And I forgot I was in my power armor. And then you can craft those gifts. And it's just under gifts here. And then I've got a couple. Unfortunately, Super Duper does not work on the gifts. And then if you've exhausted the uh, vendors at the White Spring, there are other vendors that sell the gift wrap as well. And if you head to um, the White Spring station vendor, uh, you'll see that he has two of each wrapping paper available. Now you can also set up shop at any of the workshops. Um, throughout the map and you can build a Santatron or um, there to collect your gifts. I recommend doing this on a private server. If you have Fallout first, it just then you're not fighting people for workshops. It's a bit easier that way. But be mindful that you're going to run into these events where you're defending. Um, so it, it's a little bit of maintenance, but you can farm a, like a bunch of gifts. I have four going right now and quite a few gifts from each of those. One of the nice things is you can force events at uh, Morgantown Airport Collision Course. So I'm gonna travel there and then run through the airport and see if I can find some Scorched, uh, sorry, the legendary holiday Scorched here. It's one of the spawn points for them. Um, basically any place where you get large amounts of um, scorched spawning are great places to farm and I'll go through, touch on some of those in a few minutes. But what I'm also going to try and do is uh, see if I can pop collision course. So you're going to head to the other side of the airport and then pop through these gates here and yay collision course. So that'll be a few waves of scorched and then hopefully some uh, legendary holiday scorched uh, with them. Plus you get an event complete and a chance at those rare forest drops. And there you see right there it's popped up defend uh, the gorge junkyard. I've put defenses up there, but 
Um, that's not going to catch everything, especially depending on what uh, spawns in as enemies to defend from. I'm just speeding up play here um, because as it turned out, I didn't get as many legendary holidays as I hoped. It took quite a bit, uh, quite a few waves before I actually got my first one. And that can happen. I could have like a bunch in each wave or I might uh, have like one. And I think because I'm on a private server, less are spawning. So there's just less chance of a holiday scorch spawning. But that's just the way it goes. So I can see a legendary up that kind of green glow up in the corner. So I got my first legendary spook, uh, not spooky, sorry, holiday scorched. You can also listen for the bells, but I have sound effects turned on down on my game often, so I don't hear it. I kind of have to watch for that, that green glow. And then just taking a look at the map, various spots. Um, this is probably going to be a bit hard, but Wavy Willards, um, Tyler County Fairgrounds, those are like large numbers of scorched that spawn there. Um, uh, yeah, Palace of the Winding Path. I find that one a bit tough to find them. You have to go through all the rooms, but they do spawn in there. Um, and then uh, Morgantown Airport, of course, where we just were. The Black Bear Lodge. Um, outside of the places that I'm mentioning, there's, there's lots of other places where they spawn in. Uh, as well. Um, Bolton Greens, I don't think I show it on this one, is another one that I'm thinking of as I look at the map. Um, I'm just headed back. To <laughs> rehashing. This is the problem of recording things when you're not feeling well. Um, oh, Sutton. Yeah, that's another one. Um, and then Poseidon Energy Plant. That's And it, there's a workshop there as well. And then if you look down there, uh, Camden Park is another one. And just bear with me, I apparently went really slow. You can also be watching for events like Collision Course, Line in the Sand, anything, um, Distinguished Guests, anything that might have Scorched. The Fisher sites, they can spawn there. So if you want to farm um, Scorch Beasts, uh, at the same time, the relay towers, they'll spawn in there. Um, oh yeah, there's Fisher Site Prime, Glass Caverns. Um, the Ranger Station. Yeah, I get there eventually. <laughs> and, uh, geez. Um, the Pleasant Valley Ski Resort and Pleasant Valley Cabins are excellent places to find them. Seneca Rock Visitor Center, I go to that one often. And they respawn, I think it's every 15 to 20 minutes. So if you've cleared an area, you can go back in a little bit and refarm them. Um, yeah, Bolton Greens. Oh, Moss Town, the Pumpkin Patch. Um, just anywhere where you find Scorched. Where you, if you've encountered groups of Scorch there, you'll be able to find them. And then you can randomly encounter them as well. Hopefully this guide helps you um, farm some of the holiday gifts and find those holiday Scorched. Good luck, and I hope you guys find all the new plants.